doing good people this is the 8-bit animal and you know how I know who George Foreman is even before the Foreman grew I was a little kid watching reruns of Sanford and Son and George Foreman was a guest star on an episode my dad walks in the room and looks at it's like hey that's George Foreman that's how I know who George Foreman is I didn't know he was a boxer I know he played a boxer on that episode of Sanford and Son. But there you go. Come to find out, George Foreman's one of the greatest heavyweight boxers of all time. He retired and came back to the sport in the 1990s, in his 40s. And became the world heavyweight champion again. That was an important groundbreaking thing because he had aged out of the sport by by most people's assessment. Well, after boxing or somewhere right before he retired or right after he retired, he starts selling George Foreman grills. The lean bean the lean mean fat burning machine. You know, it, it was a little slanted thing. You put the little tray under it to catch the grease that drip off the fat. And you put your meat on the thing and close it. And yeah, you, you cook your meat on there, right? Every college student for a while had one. I I had a whole little business running out of my dorm room for a second. That's another story for another day, not here. But in the process of his comeback, though, to boxing, George Foreman gets a video game. Unfortunately, that video game was published by Acclaim and was developed by Beam Software. And this is the NES version of that game. It's awful, but we're going to talk about it. Today, we're going to take a quick look at the NES version of George Foreman's Knockout Boxing, or KO Boxing, however you want to put it. All right, so George Foreman's KO Boxing, if it looks familiar to you, if the gameplay looks familiar, it's because on January 3rd, I talked about Beam Software's other boxing game on the NES. Some would know it as Mike Tyson's Intergalactic Power Punch. The rest of the world who didn't read Nintendo Power would know it as Power Punch 2. You see, Beam Software developed that dribble. There's a reason why that dribble was not tied to the Punch-Out uh, franchise. There's a reason. That dribble got picked up, though, and published by someone else. And then Beam Software got the, got the opportunity to develop this dribble. They were real good at pumping out some garbage. This game is actually a little bit worse than Power Punch 2. Because this game, your boxer, your character, George Foreman, is actually less mobile than the character you play as in Power Punch 2. Mark, tough guy Mark Tyler. He's, um... These boxers are, yeah, these boxers will, they'll just stand there and just bop you and bop you all about the face. Ain't nobody blows. Everything is, is in the head, upside the head. Um, they have super moves and super punches, but Foreman does as well. You hit a bunch of punches in a row, you get an icon to do a super punch. The problem is, though, dodging dodging uh, opponent punches and punching them enough to get a super punch and then execute it. Graphically, this looks like, pun looks like a weak punch-out clone. 
so power punch too and gameplay wise it it just feels slow it feels like there's a weird delay here and it's just not good the best part of this game are like the pictures of George Foreman that pop up during the game except for that one between rounds where he's leaning against the thing that's not George Foreman that I don't know who whose weird little kid that is but there's a weird little kid with boxing gloves on with with like Doritos branding and yeah it, it just looks weird this is a this is a weird looking not good video game thing is this showed up on a bunch of different platforms from the Sega Master System to the Super Nintendo and Genesis Game Gear Game Boy it showed up on everything so and then George Form then they got a sequel Foreman for real and that's bad too so everything attached to George Foreman in video games that was published by acclaim just ain't good so absolutely steer clear now let's say you want you to still after my misgivings decide you want a copy of George Foreman KO Boxing $10 it's, it's actually cheap that's right whatever I don't know if that was the bridge or a barge but that's right George Foreman KO Boxing is an awful video game it's another example of why we should have given we should have given uh, more heat to being software because Lord knows they deserve it because this is just bad but this has been the 8-bit animal and I'll catch you beautiful people tomorrow Tomorrow, you know, I've taken to calling late NES Taito the Grail Factory, and this particular grail comes with lunch. <laughs>